I wonder, as I have many times throughout this journey, ultimately nothing as important as, how is it all going to end? Not the movie, of course. We all know how that was going to turn out. No, the relationship of our dysfunctional family was what had me on the edge of my seat. Is it weird that I was hoping for a happy ending? I mean, it's kind of like spending time with an abuser. You know you could do better. You know you deserve better. But you spend so much time there that you almost don't want to feel like it was all for nothing, like it was all in vain. I wonder if that's how they felt about each other. They all deserve better than each other. You hope that at some point they would manage to see past each other's shells and help each other grow rather than to tear each other down. Maybe they were unwilling or incapable of doing so. I think this here, one of their last meetings, speaks for itself. So what, like, what's this project about? Like, you know, it's about, um, it's a biopic mm. about an arm mm. wrestler, right? An arm wrestling champion. Okay. But I don't play him once he's a champion or I, I play him up until he's a champion. Mm, okay. But he's, he's Canadian. He's ex special forces. His name is Devin Larry. Oh, what, what about you? Like, what have you been doing? Like? Uh, I've been doing some uh, theater. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Recently, uh, Shakespeare, Midsummer Night's Dream. So I've really tried to uh, take a page out of your book of, you know, trying to get into the mindset of mm. what it takes to be an arm yeah. wrestling champ, yeah. you know. So I've been doing a lot of uh, uh, wrist exercises. It was for charity, actually. So Yeah, I, I used to do Midnight's mid Summer Dream in, in school as well. I, so, yeah, so I it's know it, such you know? a great yeah. play, so... Yeah, I don't know if I should have written this. So. Uh, anyways. Uh, we're flying away to Dubai uh, in like a week. Uh, we're gonna start on the next um, Ghost Protocol movie. Oh, the, yeah. the Ghost Protocol? Yeah, yeah. All right. Like, not, it's not a super big deal. I'm like the, uh, the secondary antagonist, you know, like the, uh, the backup dude for the main... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, like a henchman sort of... Uh, uh, not not like fully like sure yeah yeah he's a henchman but like you know he's the kind of guy who who gets things done mm -hmm. and then the main antagonist is the guy who like calls the shots the pretty face yeah 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 yeah, yeah i played hermia and uh, it was uh, it was so fun uh, uh -huh. i really like theater because it's like it's so magical you know oh yeah oh yeah it's, it brings so much joy and oh, yeah, a lot, happiness a lot, a lot and, of nostalgia and stuff and, like that uh, yeah. and hope Bring so much hope yeah. to people. Yeah, 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 I get that, I get that. So, yeah. so yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. You gotta have your elbow tucked inside of your body. Like, not out here, in here. So, like... Not like that. Straight, straight as, as you usually do, but just as far as you can go inside your chest, right? Okay. Because this protects the elbow joint from overextension. It's gonna be weird to not see you anymore after this. Oh, yeah. But, uh... I think I've got a good feeling about it. We'll, we'll see, I guess. Yeah. I appreciate that I got more lines. Um, yeah, yeah. I read, I, I, I read, so glad for you. Yeah, I read the script. Uh, our hands need to be in the middle of the table, right? So okay. you, you need to get a little bit more forward with your body. So if it's easier, you can sit on the ground as well, yeah. so you don't have that awkward. Yeah. Okay. So in the middle of the table, that's a fair start, right? Mm -hmm. You, you, you go oh, with whatever lines you want. Did you know? Um, actually, I'm. do you remember Inca? My boyfriend. I do remember him, yeah. Well, I'm planning to propose to him. Re really? Yes. Oh, oh. We've been together for five years. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, th I think it's time then, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. I've been planning uh, for some weeks now, and I, now I'm starting to feel ready. So oh, wow, wow, wow. I'm so nervous. Yeah, oh, I get that, but I think it's going to be fine. Like five years. Five years is a long time, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I know that he's like, the one for me like he's oh, so yeah. calm and he's so, so nice and and uh, he really supports me and oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah yeah best of luck to you best of luck to you thank you yeah 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 uh, do you have any final thoughts um, just general thoughts about, about about this movie production mm -hmm. can i take it in swedish again yeah absolutely great okay. jag tycker ändå jag försökt skapa bra stämning försökt hålla 
positiviteten uppe och försökte göra det bästa av situationen. Alla är ju väldigt speciella och unika på sitt sätt och har sina fördelar och nackdelar. Mm. Vi kanske ses igen, det vet mm. man aldrig. Mm. Men jag hoppas verkligen att vi i alla fall kan gå härifrån med en god stämning mellan oss. You know, shit. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Rebecca. Yeah? Uh, Looking for more wine. <laughs> well, no. Oh. You uh, know, it's yeah, no. somewhere around maybe in this uh, fridge oh, right yeah. here. I think, uh, oh, that was the freezer. Oh. Right here, we have some wine. Oh, great. Knock yourself out. Och jag tyckte det var skönt att ha den här rap partyn. För att få ett sista bra avslut. I wouldn't call it a sex film. Hey, hey Dave. Hey, how you doing? Doing good? Yeah, pretty neat. Oh, is that a new cologne, Dave? Do you have a new cologne or something that smells a little... Oh yeah, it's uh, Armani. Oh really? Yeah. Or, where are the money? No, that was a bad joke. <laughs> I mean, hey, you're welcome for the payday, am I right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, thanks. So, uh, what's next for you, Dave? Like this. Who knows? Not a movie, maybe take a break. Yeah, I mean, you know, break. taking. Mm. Yeah, take oh, break. breaks are great to take, yeah. man. You know, um, everyone needs a break sometimes. Mm. You know, I agree, like, I agree, I agree. You settle down. Mm. Maybe, maybe you find some something else to do. Just you know. Mm. I mean, you you sort of look like you've had a break for quite a while, but you know, maybe you need some more time to cool off and recuperate your senses, right? <laughs> I don't want to necessarily call it a break. But a um, like you've been editing. I have most certainly been editing because I don't trust anyone else with this movie. Um, so yes, I have been uh, by hand putting my sweat, blood, and tears into this. So. Oh yeah, we can tell. Mm. Yeah. We can tell. Yeah. yeah. So so hey, Dennis, Dennis, what? come over here, man. Sorry. Listen, yeah. I um, I wanted to ask you guys, like, uh, have you guys been in touch during this hiatus or something? Feels like you guys have something. You know, brewing. I don't know. Do we need to have this conversation now? I I feel like uh, him and I we've been talking a little bit. I feel like we kind of I kind of got my point across. I think. Mm -hmm. I oh, you guys so. have, you guys have hashed it out already. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Uh, I I feel fine. Yes, I hope. Yeah, sure you do. What? You guys pulling a prank on me? No, I was are standing you, in the fucking hallway. Are you pulling a prank on me? Exactly. The behavior on set that you and uh, everyone else exhibited. Um, mm -hmm. Rather unacceptable, if mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I came there expecting a professional uh, movie set. Mm -hmm. I did not get that. I got mm -hmm. a, a lot of um, moments that where I felt ignored. I felt um, overshadowed. I, I, I did not feel like I was being taken seriously. And I'm a serious actor. I'm mm -hmm. fine too. But Just saying I feel fine. Yeah. Cause I'm, it, doing, I'm doing. I'm doing fine. Cause it, it sort of feels no. like you know I, we want to have a good time. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I want to have a good time. I, mean, I, I kind of hope that this party was a little bit of a goodbye of everyone. We okay. started this journey together and I definitely hope that we could goodbye. at least end it on a note oh, of a a friendship. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good Next time we'll see each other will be at the premiere and then uh, who knows? Maybe on an interview or something on the show. I mean, we're gunning for, for awards, uh, right? We're yes, doing that. Uh, we're obviously yeah, playing yeah. the Oscars. Uh, rumor mill is probably yeah. what we could expect as best picture, best lead. Uh, female lead, yeah. um, and then... Uh... There have been a lot of um, conflicting feelings, I'll say that much. Um, I feel like David has... Uh, well, not just David, but, but, but the entire crew have really um, taken advantage of not only me, but a lot of the other cast and crew. Just know that you've made an impression mm -hmm. that I will never forget, and you know, when, when the movie yeah. sort of blows up mm -hmm. and everything goes a little viral, hopefully, uh -huh. maybe people will find out about, you know, what it's like to be on a movie yeah. set with personalities like yours and Sasha's and, you know, mm. mine. Mm. So we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. 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 Is that uh, coffee? Oh, it's definitely coffee. Definitely coffee. What the fuck is the direction of this scene? Where is my character supposed to go? It doesn't smell like coffee. 
Well, it's a special special brand of coffee. Ah. You you wouldn't know it. When I asked you about it, because I did ask you about it numerous times, there has been a lot of. Uh, There's been a, there's been a lot of turmoil on set, and I'm sorry, but it's uh yeah I uh, I I I wish everyone the best, right? Oh hey. Oh hey, man. Good stuff. Good stuff, yeah. Mm. yeah. How you doing, man? Um, I'm doing fine. Thank you. Uh, how are you? How are you holding up? It is what it is, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's been, it's been rough, rough time. Yeah, yeah, it's been rough. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe you should, uh, you know, take some water. Maybe. Maybe. Just, you know. Yeah. There's a lot of, a lot of evening. Let you know, so, so, yeah. Uh, good seeing you, man. So how are you doing, Rebecca? I'm doing good. Yeah? You look good. You look great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, so, um, how are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I, uh, I have some exciting things coming up. You know, some exciting projects. It's gonna be good actually, I don't know how you feel, but it's gonna be good moving on from this. It's, a bit, it's been a learning experience for me, I think. It's, um, a lot of things have happened. I have been forced to get to know myself as an actor and as a man, and uh, I had to face some truths, you know. Uh, all in all, I would say, you know, I'll be honest with you, it, it hasn't all been sunshine and rainbows. If, if things play out well tonight, I'm going to actually challenge uh, Dave and Sasha to arm wrestling because they need to be... Dave and Sasha? Yeah, they need to be taken down a peg, I think. Because they think really? that, you know, yeah, they're like, mm, so, I'm the big guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to show them down. Just to show them, yeah. Yeah. Life's too short, you know, life's too short to be mad. Life's too short to be uh, holding grudges, so I really want to just have a good time tonight. I want to make sure that we all part on some sort of positive note. Like, this would mean a lot to me. If you could, when we're doing the arm wrestling, could you like say something in the sense of like, damn Dave or Sasha, you're so weak, I thought you were strong, could you do that? Because just to get them a little riled up, you know? Yeah, sure. Could you do that? Um. We, we're done. Can we move on? You have to say something. Anything. I know what to tell you. I mean, my life's been going, going pretty good. Are you okay? Yeah. Of course. Feels like something's up. No. It's a movie. Let's go watch it. I know what else to tell you. No, but that sounds really fun. Yeah, that's what life is about. Man. Just, just enjoy yourself. No, basically, don't, don't sweat things that you know shouldn't be sweat about. You know. Uh, I would like to do more theater, but I have nothing planned. But Shakespeare is like the staple of an actor's career, I would say. That's really difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Sasha, you tried your hand at Shakespeare and, you know, it was not something you dwelled upon too long, was no. it? I moved beyond that stage. Things have been done, it's the experimental phase, you get to find yourself as an actor, then you move on. I feel like Shakespeare is like the most deepest, the most intelligent, Mm -hmm. I'm actually Either more with Rebecca, actually, yeah. The text in Shakespeare is so... It's brilliant. It's brilliant, and you, you shouldn't change it. Some scripts uh, you have to change as an actor because they just... They aren't true to the of feeling course. of the character or the of scene. Course. 
but you don't dare touch Shakespeare no. because that's sacred. Like that's yeah. a staple of of every actor's. And it won't work. Why not change it? Why not? We, because we it won't work. It. We can do other things, and okay. that's what Shakespeare is for as an actor nowadays. It is for you to try your hand at something. It is working with hammer and nail in schools. Yeah, know. but the difference is that his imaginary words stuck with for like 400 years. Yeah, your imaginary no words are forgotten the moment you say them. Yeah. Therefore, it has cemented itself to have value. It's like yeah, Shakespeare, yeah. it brings a lot of happiness and joy and so... Yeah. The jokes, right? Yeah, you're the funny guy. So like an excuse. I'm a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. So you know what I, 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 you know I have before coming here? Oh, sushi, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be on all the posters. I mean, yes. You want some sushi? Everyone's gonna be on all the posters, that's correct. That's my line. Yeah, there, there, there were some uh, some good lines. I, I get why Dennis would be upset if Rebecca were to uh, take one of his lines. That's something that, you know, hurts. Someone mm -hmm. just takes your, your line, your scene. Mm -hmm. Did, did someone steal your lines, big boy? Maybe, maybe it is, or maybe it's <laughs> Did someone steal your lines? Did someone get to show off their the acting chops? Huh? Well, I mean, I knew the line, I just... I did it better. And I'm talking, I'm talking. Oh, it's like, of course, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David felt like... Are any of you paying attention to what I'm saying? The words that I'm saying? Well, I'm trying to listen. Like, yeah, sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you are, I'm sure you are. Never have I ever gotten as big of a fucking paycheck than working on this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, this so. This is so funny, man. Slurp, slurp. You. That, really, Dennis? Really? Please. I've gotten a pretty sweet check from the, the this production, but uh, it's not not the biggest. How much? Wow, not the yeah, biggest. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yeah, me a number, then. If this isn't the how biggest. How much? No, no, yeah. shut up. Listen. What? Yeah. How, how much? How much? How much? How much? Yeah. How much? Well, like, you got? For here? No, for, for this film. How for this much? Film. Six million. Under, what did she say? Six million. Six million dollars? Six million. Wait, wait. Are you fucking serious? No, 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 no. no, six million dollars. Dave, what the fuck? We had to... Uh, we had Where to... did you get this money? What, do you, do you, you guys forget the fact that I'm being produced by the whole of Sweden? I would say it's a fresh wound, so to speak. Because uh, I've just found out what the others were paid. My agents lobbied for 20, but... Well, well Dave, what the fuck? You told me we're all paid equal. I, that's, uh, that's so what I wanted. unfair. That, that was what equal? My, I mean, that's what my purpose the was. Main and character. then, of course, he fought for it, so he was either drunk. I guess that came up in conversation. I got 10,000 for this film. Others got... Now we, is that one and a half? Okay, million? okay. I, I, I don't have to, I, I don't have as big of a role as he does, but, but six million compared to ten. And that's fine, I guess. I guess, I guess my, I guess my name doesn't take in that much money. So. The producer Dave. assigns these numbers. Dave, Dave, I have to deal with the numbers I'm given and use them. I get it, but it, it is what it is, right? The most I've got paid? Artist. Ten thousand. As much as You know, it's it's like they always say, you know, never never reveal your paycheck, right? But uh... Can I just say uh, it's a bit fun that you say that my agent doesn't relent because because uh, we were lobbying for twenty and uh, I did six as a you know You're he did twenty if that's not a good deal, I don't know what is. Have you ever been hey. to a marketplace? Have you ever hey. fucking hey. made on. business hey. with anyone? Look out for most curve. He's a shit actor, actor, man. You're gonna Why have not to pay up some of yours. Wait, what? Why? Because it's so unfair. Wait, so she's getting it. What am I getting? Ten thousand, man. You were getting ten thousand at least. I don't know. Ten thousand. It's not about the amount. It is about a hierarchy. That exists. Oh a hierarchy God. of skill. Did you just fucking say that? Would you pay a painter the same as a toddler doing finger paints? Oh my lord. You have a long way to go, all of you. You're gonna do great. The thing yeah, is, yes. I'm a bit further off. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Someone just got in the door. Shit, man. No, I just dropped the ghost ring. You know, I. I like to do some research, right? I, I like to do some research about my, my co-stars and Sasha, even during this production, is quite a big thing on the internet, especially in Japan. I don't know if you guys know that, but I, I, I sort of Google his name and, and stuff and there is a lot of lewd artwork done on Sasha 
and especially from Japan and you know I myself I'm not so well versed in these things but I talked to Dennis about it quite recently and he's quite well versed in what they call hentai and Sasha let me tell you that Sasha is quite the hentai icon back there in Japan and I can understand why honestly because Dennis told me all the you know intricacies and stuff like that and Sasha has a face that really lends itself well to that sort of artistic depiction right so whatever happens I would say Sasha listen to me here if you ever feel like you want to push yourself creatively just lean into that lean into the hentai Japan stuff because your face is just so well suited to that art form that it's crazy I mean I've seen you in situations involving you know octopuses fucking foxtails you name it Sasha and that's where you really can method act you know you know the way you could method act Sasha I'm sure they have like you know like the Oscars I'm sure like they have a hentai award with like an octopus statue or something like that with eight arms you could take that home because you're gonna win awards dude you know it you're an award winner you could take that statue home invite your friends over to watch your greatest hentai hits and you could recreate the best scenes you've ever done have you seen that there's a there's like a, a web page where you can put a filter on your face and I actually out of curiosity just took a selfie Sasha sent to the production copy pasted it it didn't change a thing he looks like an anime character like he really does he's got them big doe eyes and you know the the face that just screams violate me it's just perfect perfect so yeah next question we know you had your big scandal it's not that hard imagine that you could I did not too. sexually harass that woman no, I did not yeah and then the guy said like why are you doing cocaine off my ass Oh shh. Listen, I'm sorry. I, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm very sorry. Don't I mean, truth be told, it hasn't been all that bad. If I'm gonna be entirely honest. Well, it hasn't been all that bad, huh? No, it's nice to hear. It's a bit. I don't know. <coughs> Maybe I'm just looking back with rosy <coughs> eyed glasses, but. Based on the start, it felt like we had something. Yeah. Somewhere. Good to hear, man. I just wanted to make the best I could. It's just a simple answer. Yeah. Filming experience I've had. Yeah. Speak for yourself, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty dumb. Thanks. I think we're. They're bright spots. Okay. What the fuck is this? Uh, Did you hook up with Ika? Um, that was. Uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm so very sorry. This is so over. fucking disgusting. Are you gay? I'm bi, I suppose. Homosexuality is so fucking disgusting. Oh, Excuse well, me. I'm very sorry, but I, I'm very sorry for what happened. But you're please listen. Fucking up. slug. I understand. What? I understand you're upset. I'm so very sorry for what happened. Homosexuality should be. You should be fucking dead. You know that. Oh, hey, 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 come hey, on. You can't just That's around taking it hey, a little stop far. Saying that um, shit. Um, I get that you're upset. You. I'm very sorry. Fucking bigot. I'm very sorry. Shut the up. Shut the fuck up. I love. Shut up. I what? love a homosexual hating woman. How fucking what? hot are you, Rebecca? God oh, damn! Look about. at you. Who fucked who? Who fucked the guy here? Who, did what? you do that? Did you did you fuck his? Did you fuck her wife you or man? You Inca. You fucked. I was going to propose to him. Okay. Mm. Clearly, you didn't know him that good, though. I guess. What? Oh, shit. I fucking get... kill you. I get that you're upset, but still. No, but Sasha, you can't rationalize the way this. This man right here, this curly ass motherfucker, he fucked this woman's fiance. Is that okay? No, no of not. course not. It's horrifying. Of no course not. No one cares not. about your opinion, okay? What? Can you just shut up? I'm sorry? No one cares about my No opinion. one cares about your opinion. Hey, you know why you're here, right? Because you're a girl. No, I'm. Inclusivity. 
I'm here because Whoa, I'm a good guys, actress. That, oh, good actress. you're actress. here because I don't fucking Wait. know because no one here likes you. <clears throat> I'm here. No one likes me. Sure. I'm here because I am a good actor. No, you, you're not. You're obviously not. Miss Basic Shakespeare bitch. Shales! <laughs> you're here for it. You're here because of the feminist don't agenda. Don't you hear him? I hear him. I hear what you're saying. Oh yeah. Okay. This, this feels like a like if this was a character sheet right here, Sasha. This would be your essence. You're an asshole, Sasha. You think you're better than oh, everyone you else. To... Oh yes, Sasha. Exactly. Yes, but you're not. Oh, wrong. I think I'm better than, than anyone else. I'm better than you guys. Oh no. fuck you. Sasha. I am better than you. Six million. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. oh disgusting hey, motherfucker. Fuck you. Please. You broke oh, our trust. I, you paid him six million dollars. I Deserve no, those For what, what do you deserve? For what have you done? You got? should get your goddamn hey, hand hey, tight words hey. somewhere else, motherfucker. No! All you motherfuckers! All of you have treated me like shit throughout the entire fucking shoot! All of you! You? You never took advantage of my talents! You? You treated me like shit! You! You've always treated me like shit! All of you! Okay, Dennis. Come the no. Come the fuck no, down, you sherry the taste no, of a performer. Let the best you speak, Sasha. No. You, hey, you came here and you expect to be treated like some star. What have you done? You're a washed up comedian. You draw in like what? 200 people at most and you want a million. You're fucking worthless. I'm sorry. Fuck all of you. Okay. Dennis. Okay. Dennis. That was that was too much, man. That was, that was okay. way too much. Okay. Man. That's that's all too much. Yeah. Look at talking. Oh, shut up, David. Fuck you. S please. Don't even get me started. Listen, I, I'm, I'm tired of your down, Tom, come what? You walk come in every time I said his wife is having problems. If you decide to walk in there and burst the fires, her uh, her boyfriend comes in and, and is wearing there. You come in and burst in the fires. I come in on set and I happen to look the way I look. You come in and burst in the fires. You just you thrive on drama. No wonder you had to stand yeah. there. You love it. You I get it off on that shit. You yeah. like it. You fucking like to fucking jizz in your own fucking yeah. career. Yeah. Here. I try to calm shit down, calm Dave. Shit down. You're an instigator, Dave. Instigator. You, 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 you draw wedges between us. Me and Sasha, we'd have gone to find along if you weren't there to fucking fuck it up for I'm us. I'm sorry. You paid him six million, million for that what? For what? How is it my fault, Sasha? I'm sorry. Ah, uh, Mr. Mr. You know, would you like to get paid less, Sasha? You're very welcome to tell me that, and we can even it out right now. If they want to be even Steven, I can go hey, try to talk to you. It ain't about that, Dave. Oh, it's not about that. Hey, it ain't about that. It's, it's not about the, the fact that you... Oh. Hmm, yes. You just keep putting us against each other because you want the drama. <laughs> Yeah. You want yeah, to you be want Yes, I want. Uh, I want my first movie that's going to be important and international to be a fucking mistake. What mm -hmm. you want is mm -hmm. to be the top dog, right? Top you top grew up. Nobody saw you, David. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody acknowledged mm -hmm. you. You felt like you put in a lot of effort uh -huh. for a little reward, mm -hmm. right? You want more. You want uh -huh. to be seen. You want to be the big, big dick in the scene. Mm -hmm. But listen, Dave. Mm -hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. You drive wedges between people. You don't build them up. And people. Don't appreciate that. Mm. No legends are built upon fucking people who break other people down. Because Sasha, sure, he has his thorns out, he has his, you know, uh, high horse bullshit sometimes. Oh. But I would have gone fine along with him if it weren't for you, David. Mm -hmm. And even Rebecca, fucking look at her. She's a nice girl. She's a good girl. She's a Christian background. And what did you do? You fucked her fiance. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? Why would you fucking fuck the only person who hasn't done anything to you this set? Why would okay, you fuck but fuck? How many people are you fucked? Come on. Well, listen, 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 listen. No, I would no, never fuck your wife. I would never fuck his. How many wives have, have you fucked though? You fucked quite a lot, I've heard. I didn't know those people. They didn't matter. They didn't matter because why? Because you just didn't know them, so therefore they don't matter. Of course. Oh, of course. They don't matter anyway. You, Fuck that. I, listen. You're sitting here and the saying that you're, you, you're play, painting yourself as, as a sort of saint or the, the democratic angel coming here to, the, to, to, to help us bring us together. And if it wasn't for me, it would have been the united force. Fuck you. For the very first day on set, you felt like you had to, uh, to match up to him just because you, you're so washed up used to be because first of your own mistakes. Well, I never felt the need My to ass. match up to that guy. The very second never. you saw him, you were like, oh shit, better no. match up to this guy. No, 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 no. Because I'm someone that used to first be someone First of all, important. first of all, I know. I know. 
two things. I know two mm. things in this life. Yeah. I that know. you can never match up to me. <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> Who's the comedian? Is it Dennis or is it this motherfucker? I don't know. I don't no, know. You're bringing my name into this. No, I'm just saying that this motherfucker thinks he's funny. I'm saying I know two things in this life. I can out-act this motherfucker any day of the oh, week. Number that, two, right. I could fucking destroy this guy right now arm wrestling any day of the week. Oh, Fuck yeah, you. you. You think you're a big dick? As well as David Doug, you both are shit. You both are shit. Right now, dude. Let's do it right now. They're big both tonight. I can fuck you up. Let's do it. Let's hey, do it. Hey, Let's do it. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Well, I listen to you all the time, Sasha. Tell me, what do you want? What do you want? You want to go or you not? Really want I'm to ready. I think you're just scared. Yeah, fuck you. You think I'm scared? scared. Yeah. <sighs> You're scared. You're scared, aren't you? Why am You're I scared. scared of you? You're scared of a real man, Sasha. You know what I, I will think? eat your children. I will stomp your heart out. You're scared. You I'm know ready. What I think? My arm is on the table, bro. My arm is on the table. I'm fucking ready, Sasha. I'm ready. Well, here's what I think. What? That's all you got. Oh, okay, I think let's that's see, all see. you got. Because you know, you don't got the record to beat me in the acting. You ain't got nothing to show for your acting, cause you're a nobody. Okay. Cause you're a mediocre dude. Okay, Sasha, let's say. So like you this. know what? I'm gonna do this. Oh, you're Thank shaking you for my this hand. Experience, you're shaking man. my hand. Let me tell you to the, all the people watching here, Dennis, Rebecca, let me tell you something. Sasha backed out of this fucking thing. And you to the camera. You backed out. You backed I the was fuck the out. Bigger man Why put because it I always have. You're what never is? the bigger man, Sasha. You're the smallest guy on this fucking planet. Your ego is the size of fucking Canada, but you don't know shit. And David, mm -hmm. you, you're trying to match his ego, but you have nothing. Who's fucking talking, you oh. molester, you fucking rapist? I'm surprised you haven't molested anyone yet. Oh, fuck Please. off, David. If that kind of small dick vibes are coming from right there, I don't know what is. Every Woo. single man, woman, dwarf, and animal of our fuck mm. have wanted it. They oh. wanted it. Oh, man. yeah, they wanted a real good animal. Because oh, you were a nice big boy oh, man. Yeah. Sasha. Can you not step away from your anger for one second and just realize I try to meet you halfway? Did I not try to meet you halfway? And you, Dave? And what did you guys do? You threw it back in my face because what? My past? My allegations? My no, general... because of what you did now. It, I don't fucking you're, care you're, because you you're all no guys problem, are such you're losers. No you're, a loser, you're a loser, you're a loser, and you're a loser, and you're a loser. Oh, really? Oh, oh, does that feel good? Yeah. Or what? <laughs> Mr. I go for 20, but I went down to 6. Please, you're lucky you got 6. Listen, Dave, you fucked her fiancé. You should apologize, man. I did apologize, and she did not want to take that. She wanted you to did fight apologize. I tried to, and I'll say it again in that case. I'm so very truthfully sorry, because to be completely honest, he took advantage of me when I was in a very vulnerable place. And I feel shitty about it, and I called it off the second and after I it happened. You're putting in Kevin's space, yeah. It's just the truth. Kevin, fuck you. Huh? It's just the truth of the matter. I was in a really shitty place, and, I'm, and, I, and, I, and I felt bad the moment it happened. You used to be nominated an actor that no one get, wants to work with anymore because of your fucking attitude. And then what, what do I have left? Uh, an actress on stage that can't fucking take direction. And then and a comedian that no one wants to be here. Wow. I'm sorry, Dennis. Here's a, here's a big question. Why the fuck do you think you were on set? Uh, because, and you have so little lines. Because the producers told me you need a funny guy so I have to write a character. You were not supposed to be in the fucking movie, Dennis. Why? Because I didn't have space for a character. And then I'm the one that is my fucking fool that you don't have a character that people need more of the funny guy in there and then I'm forced to come up with someone for you to belong to because honestly, you weren't supposed to be there and instead of fucking you over, they should have just been honest and let you be and so I did my best so I tried to give you lines, I tried to give you what I could and then when these fucking uh, cunts th thought they were better than you and better than everyone else I gave you their lines and then, oh, they were upset how could you do so give away my lines to the comedian Fuck you! You were both sitting there swinging your dicks around. Give Sasha's line away. Give Navi's line away. I said, okay, how about we play the. How about you play the. Stop! Song? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bye. Shut up, Sasha. Dennis. Dennis. No. Dennis. Dennis. What the fuck, guys? Why, why would you do that? Fuck you. Dennis! Dude, there's a reason you're tight. Yes, but it's named. Train wreck of a movie! Uh -huh. It's the fucking worst shit about Ben. Wow. Thank you. Impressive you stuck around of it, then uh, I guess that six mil. Because I right. don't quit. Because I don't quit. <laughs> I stick with the script no matter how bad it is. Mm. I wanted to quit. I wanted to quit yeah. many times. Oh, yeah. Many times. Mm -hmm. Your script was shit. The fact that you say that you could rewrite Shakespeare and make it better, improve upon it, mm -hmm. just shows how fucking big your ego is, my dude. You came from YouTube. 
-hmm. You came from YouTube, uh -huh. which is a medium I absolutely respect, mm -hmm. but you're not ready for the leap, my man. You're not ready for this leap. Mm -hmm. And the fact we've that you've seen that now. We've seen this that many times. And the fact that you handle Sasha and Rebecca and me and Dennis and all the fucking other actors on this set <laughs> the way you have just shows that you want to be the top dog, David. I tried. I tried to be as diplomatic as I could, the same way I was with all of my indie actors. And then you guys came along and you told me, no, this is the standard you got to stick to. This is the level you got to be at. This is how you make a movie. And I said, okay, if that's what they want from me, then that's where I'll go. And then I go there and, oh, but not and me though. Fail. But I'm special because I'm Sasha. I'm a nominated actor and I matter. I'm Navid. Do you know, I used to make fucking Italian westerns that no one fucking saw. Oh, you, so I matter. what you're saying is, oh, how you dare didn't you? measure up. Those rules matter to the rest, but not to me because I'm special. No, 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 David, the rest of them, but not me. Fuck you guys. You can't just sit there and double standard this bullshit. You can't sit there and want me to be better than what I am. And then when I try to be better with you, you give me shit for it. Because that's the thing you asked me to do for you. When did you try to be better, Dave? When you slapped me? When you belittled Dennis every fucking step of the way? When did when, you try to be when better? I had to, when, I had to, when I had to do my best to have him be there because I couldn't have him there. When I had to take your bullshit and just accept you were a dick to him, a dick to her, a dick to Dennis, a dick to the crew, a, a fucking sexual predator on my set. When I had to handle his ego in front of everyone. No shit, I gave away your monologue. You clearly fucking didn't read it. Are you fucking dumb? You had the whole month. That was the biggest piece in the movie. And then this random person that didn't even have to read it knew it by heart. Are you kidding me? No shit, I gave it to her. She didn't even have to know your lies that she knew it. Are you fucking me? You're an actor, a nominated Oscar actor. How the fuck? Whose dick did you suck? <laughs> I can't believe it. I actually agree with that, Sasha. You should have done that monologue better. You weren't prepared at all. You you really weren't. You, you, you were just, I mean, you, you have won awards, yes, but you are not exactly what I expected from you. I, I have to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh, so now it's time for honesty. What honest do you mean day, a huh? random you. person? I'm not a random person. Aren't you? Girl, you do Shakespeare in a theater. No one fucking goes to watch Shakespeare in a fucking theater anymore. You yeah, they do. You even read it when you're in sixth grade, then you watch some some eight year old eight graders play it, and then you're like, I get it. No one goes to watch fucking Shakespeare unless you're old gay and have nothing to do better but to spend your money because you're old and gay in a fucking theater play. Let's not pretend like those people are gonna come there every other week. It's not like you see fucking twenty year olds come to your play. Hey, I watch Shakespeare in movies, and you know Rebecca, nice. You haven't seen her play. Thank you. Please. Oh, this movie is place. fucking joking. We're gonna continue after this. <laughs> We're gonna have another movie. Oh yeah? Where are you gonna well, go? Uh, who knows? Where are you gonna go, David? Who the fuck knows? David. Mm -hmm. Where are you gonna go? I don't care, honestly. I actually kind of don't care. Lucky you, you don't care. I actually don't. That's it. It's really blissfully freeing. Not having to give a shit anymore. It's, it's weird, isn't it? Like, it, it, it's kind of like before you're afraid. This is your first movie. The world's looking at you. They want to know what you're going to make. Uh, they want to see your phantasmagoria. You have this actor. You're bringing back this big actor. This random actress that, that this theater she's preserved. Oh, this comedian. What is he going to make? And then this is, happens. Whatever happens. But now I, I don't, I'm not afraid anymore. Because if they hate it, they hate it. And that is what it is. But if they love it, they love it. And if they, and if they don't care, they don't care. The, regardless, I got the attention I wanted. So regardless... I did it. David, please just go. Go? This is my fucking house. So how about the rest of you fucking washed up piece of shit, wish you were a fucking militia that can't fucking handle the shit, wannabe actress that just recites Shakespeare, and garbage comedian, get the fuck out of my house. Can't wait to see you at the premiere. Let's smile and nod and pretend we're friends. Get the fuck out. Hope you had fun. Enjoy the paychecks. Your taste in wine sucks. Yeah, well, your taste in everything kind of sucks, so... Does that mean much to me? David, are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. It's good to hear. Can I, can I do anything for you? No, I'm good. I think all I need right now is to just spend time with myself and get fucking drunk. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good luck with the career. Are you just hanging around because you're bored, or...? Uh, I actually f lost my phone. I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck out of the house and buy a new one. For one, 170 million. It, it's, I think you can handle it. Five million? Yeah. Still do, don't. Mm -hmm. Don't fuck around with my phone, man. I got some sensitive shit on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't trust you, man. Yeah, well, same here. Ah. Good, good yeah. shit. So, uh... Mm -hmm. 
Let's hope we never meet again, I guess. Yeah, well, premiere, and then there you go. All right, Dave. Yeah. Bye. David, by the way. Yeah, it took you long enough to fucking learn that, but then again, am I expecting anything from you at this point? No, but just in case. All right, no, sorry, Dick. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Is it okay if I stay here? Maybe you have something you want to say? Get the fuck out. I'm really sorry this happened. Yeah, huh? You know what? Fuck this. Yeah, well, no, 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 I'll leave, I'll leave, okay. I have just as many words as not enough at this point. First, let's start by saying that they all did meet up at the premiere. They all smiled and waved and pretended to be friends. What are we left with now? A movie that was blown out of proportions? A fan base, if one can call it that, that is just there to make fun of it? 256 million dollars and it made back 53.76 million 21 percent that's how much they made back that's not a lot that's really not a lot <sighs> safe to say they're not working on a sequel i wish i had been capable of being there every day but I also know that my distance is exactly what was needed. Regardless, I managed to keep a journal of the truth that has happened behind the scenes. Before anyone asks how this documentary even got to be made, let me just say, David forgot one piece of the puzzle. He may have left Mendizabal, but he never asked who was paying for me and my crew. He forgot that Timo was still the one who hired us. It was a risky gamble, but one that did pay off. Ultimately, our contract still held up. There wasn't much they could do. Plus, it was easier for the production companies to have a fall guy. And that fall guy was David. I suppose if the whole world is already pointing the finger, they might as well I do hope he understands that we all do, that showing this is important. That it's important to understand the right and the wrong steps. That this can be a how not to guide for everyone. It's a testament to David's dedication. He had the passion, he just didn't have the vision. He had the tools, but not the knowledge. The destination, but no compass. He truly had humble beginnings but got himself in murky waters he did not understand. And that led him down the wrong direction. And yes, what he has done has never been done before. It's not surprising that it leads to rage, regrets, and reshoots. I do understand that this has cost him a lot of grief, both in his personal and professional life, but I think he found acceptance for a lot of those things. I would like to say thank you and best of luck to our thespian, our two actors, our comedian, and our director.
That's right. We're meant for greater things. Treat your world the way you want to be treated. Circumstances. There are no principles. Nobody's home. Does anybody really care what reality is anymore? You're still the love of my life. Should I tell you that? My son, all those years living a life without exploring. You wanted to see the world, to follow the great journey. I wanted to show you how much there was out there. Where did you go wrong? What blinded you? What turned you upside down, my son? The light's gone out of your eyes. Find your way from darkness where one crow stands watching them.